What's going on everybody? So today I have a package here. Um, I actually technically got two packages, but I'm only opening one today and I don't know which one this will be. I know which one has a chance to be. Right, so that's a free pack I got. So this is from ooh, Polka Power Box. Man, this box is heavy. Alright, and you got a free pack if you ordered um, sometime during Christmas or Black Friday or something. So I just got this in. So if you haven't seen these videos or never seen these before, one Poke Power box. There's, this is the Ultra box. They have Poke Power packs. They have the um, just regular classic Poke Power box, and they have the Ultra box. And they also, if you're a Gym Heroes member, you pay thirty-five dollars a month, something like that. Thirty dollars a month. Can't remember. Um, you can get these special collection boxes too. So. I do have a special collection box. That video will be opened up separately. I've opened these up quite a few times on the channel. Um, it went up to like $200 a box. I don't actually think that's worth it. If you do the subscribe, you it's like $170. Still think it's pretty borderline on worth it. Um, so one graded card in every box. One vintage pack. Or one vintage... Vintage Hollows, 1 in 5 boxes. Vintage Packs, 1 in 25 boxes. Loaded with Boost Packs. It is loaded with Boost Packs, that is a fact. Um, it's actually just it's pretty heavy. I haven't had one in a while, but I feel like this is heavier than normal. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to just kind of go in here. and I don't want to see everything. Oh yeah, you also get a mini tin. I forgot about that. Ooh, okay. I'm excited about the mini tin. Excited about these packs. Alright, so let's see what we get here. So. Alright. I think that's all of them. So I'll set this to the side for the time being. Just right there. Alright. I'm excited. A Shining Fates mini tin. Um, sweet. Guys, I might bump the camera here. I apologize if I do. Nope, I didn't. Cool. I had something at my feet I didn't want. Um, you know, let's see what, let's see what pack this is. Let's, let's see, where's the pack at? I don't want to cut the pack, obviously. Something's up here, nothing's there. Oh, I need to get a sharper knife, or switch out the blade or something. Don't do this at home. Jesus, man, these are strong. Alright. And it's a mystery pack. Oh, it's in a sleeve. Okay. Alright. I really freaking got this in here to do enough for sure. Alright, there's a better way to do this. I know, guys, this is awesome, right? Good, good recording stuff right here. Ah! Um. That's an ornament, and that's not a pack. So. I mean, that's, that's cool. I'm just kind of confused because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a pack. So I'll have to uh, figure that out and talk to them. Okay, I mean, that's cool. I mean, it's neat. I was really confused for a minute there on what that was. So, all right. Anyways, so we got a Champion's Path. Crown Zena, Darkness Blaze, Evolving Skies, 151, Paul Day Evolve, Primal Clash. You... Do get some X and Y's in here, which I do like. So we're going to kind of set these up in a specific order on how I feel about stuff. Crown Zenith, I like Evolving Skies, Darkness of Blaze is pretty decent. 151. I know, guys. Sorry, I apologize. Redox Rift. All right, this is pretty good. So this is the order we're going to go in. All right, and then we'll get into what what's left in here because there's definitely more in there. So. I really am still confused because I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a pack, not an ornament. Um, yeah. I'm um, really, really confused. Anyways, so. Can we get a hit? Picadito and Mihascarada. Okay. So, nothing on there. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Aldea Evolved. 
a set I don't mind, but a set I have horrible luck in, so... Eh. But overall, it's not a set I mind. I just I've never had good luck. I don't think that... Ooh, okay. All right. There we go. Boss's orders. All right, not bad at all. I can, I can live with that. Already our best hits by quite a bit. Going into Darkness of Blaze. We have a, quite a few opportunities here to pull a char Charizard is what I was going to say, but we're just going to go through this pack because although Darkness of Blaze has been known to be wrong code cards, so let's, let's just see. I've gotten quite a few packs of Darkness of Blaze where the code cards are wrong, although normally it's not in my favor if I remember correctly. But that one was right. Paradox Rift. I've had eh, luck on this one. I haven't opened it very much yet. So for some reason, I don't know. Scarlet Violet, it's a good era, it's fine, I just prefer, um, Sword and Shield. Ooh, I do like that card, that's cool. Hello, I'm just dropping stuff here. Homage, ooh, an okay, another supporter card, sweet. Um, cool, well, I'm doing okay, actually. So far, so good, really. <clears throat> Now Obsidian Flames, another Charizard shot. And we get the Houndoom EX, which I believe I actually needed for the set. So we're actually doing great right now. I mean, hits, oh, three hits out of four packs. I'll take that any day of the week. Champion's Path. Now, I also don't anticipate getting a Vintage Pack. Um, I've never gotten a Vintage Pack. Okay, that's a good sign from them. Um, I, I do believe their chances are probably pretty legit. I also know they make these boxes semi to order, so which also isn't exactly something I'm thrilled about. So I would rather them all be already made. And... You know, that's... And we had a Marnie Hollow. But that's my personal opinion because it's, I think it's very easy to rig or mess up when you make them to order. Especially, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they have a great system and it probably works out perfectly fine for them, which is fine. They're probably just... I don't think they try to jip anyone or anything like that. So, just to be clear. Alright. Another possible good code card sign. X and Y, three from the back. Primal Clash. Haven't opened up Primal Clash in a little bit. I do love X and Y, as most of you guys already know that. Star you get the Cedra Reverse. I like that card. Into, ooh, the Rhyperior. I've actually pulled this card before. <laughs> Which is interesting, because I don't open up a lot of X and Y in Primal Clash, but I've pulled this card before. It's been a while. But I have pulled it. So, cool. I mean, that's a, that's a great card. I like it a lot. So we're doing okay here. We are doing okay. Now we're at Pokemon 151. I would love to get one of the secret illustration rares. But we don't get anything. Sorry, you might hear me talk to myself a little bit here, guys. Sorry. All right, Crown Zenith and then Evolving Skies. I've been saying this for a while now, but I haven't pulled the Gold Giratina in quite a while. So, I mean, I, I'm due. I think it's got to be time, right? For those of you who've known, I've pulled four. Ooh, I've never pulled that Eevee, actually. I've pulled four gold Giratina um, Eevees from the Trainer Gallery, or the Glaring Gallery. And 
Yeah, so, let's say we didn't do it. That's right, let's take another look for the Moonbrion right over here. That's all it is. Four from the Mac. We have a chance. Do we have a chance? Let's find out. And we will open those two Shining Fates packs that are going to be in that tin. So maybe we can pull the Charizard. Bam! Very anticlimactic there. Sorry, guys. I tried my best. I did all I could. Alright. I've actually never opened up one of these mini tins before. Um, for the shiny fates. Sorry. I've opened up plenty of mini tins. Just never. Shiny fates. That I can remember at least. Sorry guys. Two packs of shiny fates. Two very loose packs of shiny fates. Jesus. Very loose. Alright. Four from the back. There's something in here. I did see a dark tint, I think. Don't know what it is. I believe it's in the rare slot though, so. Just a green at V. Can we go two for two? Two for two. Come on, Charizard. And then we'll get into it and see what else we can get. Well, we didn't get the Charizard. Alright, so. So far, we've actually done pretty good. So this is it. That's all there is in there. CGC. Ooh, subgrades. Okay, so it's gonna be a nine, nine and a half. Nine. Okay. Hidden fates. That's. I mean, that's a cool card. That's nice. It's actually a really good grade. This casing is really heavy. Do I have a card? Oh, I, mean, I don't have any graded cards within reach. I don't know. That's really interesting. Hmm. It looks really good. Yeah, I like it. So that's going to do it. There's nothing else in there. So, all in all, what do you guys think? I won't do one again for a while. Um, for $170, $170, do you think it was worth it? I don't know. You guys be the one to decide. Let me know in the comments if you guys think this was worth it or not. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.